Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome hockey fans to the Adora Pool Ice Center and tonight's matchup between Arizona State and your Colorado State Rams. Introducing tonight's starting lineup for the Sun Devils at left defense, number five, Zach Kowalchuk. At right defense, number 27, Jack York. At left wing, number 16, Jet Larson. At center, number 17, Jared Horl. At right wing, number 19, Gavin Plink. In goal, number one, Bronson Moore. Arizona State is coached by Tate Green. And now, for the Otter Box starting lineup for your Knights of the Green and Gold, the Colorado State Rams. At, leap, at left defense, a senior from Littleton, number six, Brian Casaria. At right defense, a sophomore from Danville, California, number 12, Tyler Nelson. At left wing, a senior from Castle Rock, number 29, Austin Ensay. At center, a sophomore from Durango, number 15, Liam Millar. At right wing, a sophomore from Denver, number 17, C.J. Nitchin. And starting in goal, a sophomore from Highlands Ranch, Number 30, Joe Morgan. Head coach for the Colorado State Rams is Joel Weeks. The general manager is Joe Chirac. Tonight's officials are linesman Evan Anderson and Lucas O'Connor. The referees are Craig Steinhauer and Dan Van Arsdale. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please stand and remove your hats as we honor America with our national anthem. Singing tonight from Colorado State, please welcome Tegan Smith. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets rattled, the bones bursting in air. That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Good. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Colorado Sports TV. We are here covering the hockey action between Colorado State University and Arizona State University. This should be a fun one. I'm Leach Castro here with Tristan Anderson. We've got all the action covered here for you. This is looking to be a fun one. We are about to see the Rams take on the Sun Devils here. The Rams with a current record of 3-3 three and, three and the Sun Devils at 2-6-0-1. Oh so it should be a fun one. We're ready to get this first period of action started for you. Tristan, the Rams had a three-day series here at home last week. What are you expecting in this new week for them to start off with? I'm expecting the Rams to uh, try and just make their game a little bit better than they played last week, as it has been gaining some more experience on their lines. They have been getting better. And going up against a team against Arizona, which is a good team, just not having a great record right now, might be an easier game for them, although we will see. And the first putt drop has taken place now, and already the players are getting physical with each other. As we see puck being played along the wall here, and 
Both teams trying to make a stance. The Rams have possession in the Sun Devil zone. We do see a penalty arm already going up, not even 30 seconds in. And the whistle is blown for that. And it looks like, I believe that's going to be a Sun Devil penalty within the first few seconds here of the first period. Uh, number 17 for the Sun Devils, Jared Hole. And we see the first face off take place in the Sun Devil zone. And an early power play for the Rams. And we'll see how they manage. Their power play was looking a lot better from last week after the week before that. It was a little bit of a rough boat for them. So we're going to see how they handled this opportunity. The Rams trying to make something happen. You see Kyle Riley passes it back to Johnny Tower, number seven. He's going to pass it across to Casaria. Casaria back towards the center towards Riley. Riley with a shot. That one gets knocked wide and behind the net. And you see Foundos going after that one. The Sun Devils able to dump that out of their zone. And Sun Devils penalty is on number 17, Jerry Horley. Two minutes for holding. Horley, two minutes for holding. Arizona State penalty at 25 seconds into the period. Casaria taking it down the left side. Number six for the Rams. Takes a shot right on goal, and it's blocked, and it's now behind the net. That is Bronson Moore in net for the Sun Devils tonight. And you see Tower gets the leading pass towards center ice, towards Casaria. Casaria trying to set up a plan. Just a little under a minute now left to go in the power play. Johnny Tower looking for options. He's skating in around Morgan. Gets it knocked away from him. That's number 19, Gavin Klein, making it difficult as the puck continues to stay in the Rams zone. You see Grayson North now trying to get his stick on it. He's getting a little physical with Tim Hoffenkamp on the Arizona State side. Rams finally able to work it out of there. Just 30 seconds left to go. That is Kyle Riley taking it down center ice. Passes it off to Sam Cote on the left side. Tries to pass it back. Puck still along in the corner. Rams looking for options. Passes it back to Taylor. Over to Joseph. Back to Cote. It's a scramble for the puck on the side. Not able to keep it in the zone in the final seconds of the power play ticking down. And that's going to be one penalty killed for the Sun Devils. As the Rams try to get a quick one back into the zone. But we're going to get the icing call. Arizona State applied a lot of pressure on the Rams, forcing them to keep it in their zone for an extra little bit, and a great penalty kill by them. And we see Levi Holston in the faceoff circle for Arizona State. He's going to win that faceoff for his team, and he's now trying to make something happen. Sun Devils trying to work something together. Puck being played along in the corner. Both members going down. Corey Taylor, number 26 for the Rams, trying to work it out. Sun Devils still have possession. Again, Holston trying to work it around, but Morgan's going to grab that with a stick and bring it in for a freeze. So far, we've seen some great action coming from Arizona, as well as some great defense to hold them off and keep the penalty going. So far, they've kept the, kept the puck in the Rams zone and have generated a few chances. And we see Sam Thrutchley now playing it on his stick, trying to work it out for the Rams. And now that's C.J. Nitchin. Puck still sliding around on the backside. And the Rams now trying to work it out of their zone. Up being played along the side. That was Austin Anse trying to start the push. But now the Sun Devils have it. And now it's going deep into the Rams zone. And you see Michael Wiggins applying pressure, number 22 for the Sun Devils. That's going to be Noah Miller passing it across, trying to get it out. This one going behind the Rams net. Puck being played along the wall now. Rams trying to get it out. And now it's headed down the left side. That's Anse trying to get it with speed. He's going to lose his footing for just a sec, but Puck still in the corner now. And that was Wiggins knocking it out. But the Rams are going to go and... Retrieve that for another icing call. The Rams trying to take it down to Arizona side and generate a few chances, although not a shot on goal in that attempt. They get ready for the faceoff to try and get in the goal. 
16-16 left to go here in the first period. Kyle Riley entering the faceoff circle for the Rams. As he was faced by Jared Howerly, number 17 on that Arizona State side. Now the Rams go back to get that one. That's going to be number 12 for the Rams, Tyler Nelson. Not to be confused with number 13, Kyle Nelson. When they're both on the ice at the same time, it seems like it, we all have trouble figuring it out. Especially Another. being one number apart. <laughs> <laughs> Rams trying to take it in now, starting the offensive attack, but Sun Devils trying to get the leading pass, and they do. This is going to be a one-on-one -on -one chance. Possible shot, and Morgan's going to have the big save on that one. Gavin Klein, number 19 for Arizona State, had the chance. But Morgan shut him down. He's going to stop another one. Bouncing off to the side now. Rams trying to reset. That's Max Laguerre. He's going to get that pass across now. Back to Laguerre. Just able to get his stick on it, but Sun Devils are going to take possession back. But Grayson North now has it at center ice for the Rams. He's taking it across. Slap shot and right into the chest of brought some more for Arizona State. Good shot by Grayson North as he takes a slap shot just entering in the zone. If there was a rebound there, I'm sure the Rams would have an even better chance of scoring. I think we've seen a lot of those rebound chances uh, from a lot of their goals. As soon as it's bouncing off, the Rams are great at supporting each other it's right off the shot. It's cleaning up in front of the net. It's a big part of hockey, and it's a great way to generate goals. Get the puck to the net, and you never know what could happen. This one coming across, a big chance shot. That one goes up and out. This one behind the net now. We see number 22 for the Rams, Max Engel. Trying to make something happen. Sun Devils able to get it out to center ice, and now they're trying to turn it around the other way. Another big chance, possibly. Morgan's going to use his stick to knock it away, and Sun Devils are going to have to set up a play now. But this one's going to get taken away by the Rams to center ice now, and it's now headed back towards the Rams zone. Coming down the right side. Sun Devils trying to set up an option. Puck being played along the wall. Players wrestling around for the puck, and now it's finally going to get taken out by the Rams. That was Johnny Tower trying to lead it out as the Rams go for a line change, and Sun Devils are going to take their time also making a few changes, and they're going to slow it down a little bit and see if they can set up another play. That is John Studioso with the puck. He Tries to start up the play there. And now Alexander Demon. For the Sun Devils, number 14. He's going to pass it across to Levi Holston. Over to Garrett Amaya, who's working it around in the corner now. Number 13 for the Sun Devils. This one tried to go towards the center, but Rams able to intercept another follow-up shot from a loose puck, and Morgan's going to scoop that right up and for a stoppage of play. Lots of back and forth hockey right now. A few chances from either side as we've seen a little bit of advantage from the Sun Devils so far. Still no goals with 13.41 remaining in the first. Holston to take the face off for the Sun Devils. Casaria for the Rams is going to work that around the back of his net. Try to get it out of center ice, but Sun Devils knock it right back in. Morgan's going to plant on his stick, giving the Rams a chance to retrieve it. And a big shove coming along the wall. Puck still loose, and it looks like we've got a whistle. Arizona State with a holding penalty, serving two minutes for his team. Number 12, Levi Holston with the penalty. Looks Actually, like. Rams with the with the penalty for that, holding. That's going to be Tyler Nelson headed in the box. Also number 12, but this time for the Rams. So this is going to be the first power play opportunity for Arizona State. We're going to see how their power play stacks up. The, the stat sheet is not so friendly in that aspect as they only have, if I remember looking correctly, 8% success on the power play. So we're going to see if they can improve that number a little bit here with their first power play of the Rams night. penalty is on number 12, Tyler Nelson. Two minutes for holding. Nelson, two minutes for holding. Colorado State penalty at 6.37. Nelson trying to work it around. Gets to Zachary Kowalchuk. He's going to pass it across. But now a chance for Johnny Tower for the Rams to try and dump it out. And he does. Tries to get the long pass. This one's going to bounce off more. 
And we see Millar there to apply even more pressure. Tried to knock it towards the net, but able to get intercepted by Jack York there, number 27 for Arizona State. This one now headed into the Rams zone, and that's Casaria trying to knock it out. And this one bouncing towards the net, nothing dangerous yet. Jack York again, knocking it back in. Sun Devils trying to set something up here. York goes for the shot. That one stopped by a couple players in the middle. This one working around the right side now. Puck being played along the wall. Centering pass and the whiff shot. And this one knocked out of the zone. Just about 45 seconds, a little under, left to go in this power play opportunity for Arizona State. That is number 19, Gavin Klein, working around the left side. Coming around with speed. Tries to knock it back. Sun Devils with patience setting up this next play. You see Corey Taylor applying pressure for the Rams, trying to hold the puck and kill some more seconds off the penalty. Ante going after that against John Studioso, number 24. And this one gets dumped out by the Rams as the final seconds begin to tick down. Ten seconds left in the power play. The Rams ready to go back to full strength. Sun Devil setting up another offensive attack. Coming down the right side, try to lead it towards Morgan, but Morgan, a brick wall, not letting that one get by so easily. This one headed out to center ice now. Gets passed across. This one's back to Studioso. Back to number eight, Bradley Budman. Back to Studioso. He's going to try and dump that in, and Morgan's just going to grab that out of the air and drop it right there for his teammate. And the long pass across over to Kyle Nelson. Trying to work it towards the center, a big chance. Couple missed opportunities there for the Rams. No capitalization on that goal scoring opportunity. Now the puck's at center ice. Players battling for it along the wall. That is Tito Moreno trying to get the centering pass. No one there to finish it up. That was Tanner Gillis. He's now in the corner trying to grab the puck for his team, but Sun Devil is able to work it out of the zone. And this one now headed towards Morgan. I believe you see Sam Thrutchley looking for a penalty as he was looking for the holding call, I believe, as he was getting grabbed towards the wall. That's Moreno knocking it out of the zone, and the Rams are going to go for a quick change. We've reached the halfway point of this first period, and now this might be a chance for the Sun Devils working around. Morgan, another big save as he faces that one. Puck end up, ends up underneath Joe Morgan as Arizona State comes out with another chance with a shot on goal. That was Connor Deneen with the shot, number 23 for the Sun Devils. And now we see Donovan Myers in the faceoff circle for the Sun Devils. Or excuse me, uh, that was number 28, Aiden Sullivan. This one, another shot bouncing behind the net now. Sun Devils trying to set up an opportunity. Another backhander towards the net. Morgan able to hold on to that one again. Morgan with a great save with lots of pressure in front of his net. We were seeing a lot of that last week. No matter how many shots he seems to face on goal, whether, no matter what the score is, he is just confident in facing every shot that comes towards him. Definitely has lots of confidence standing in his net, which is great as a goaltender. You definitely need that, as we see from many of the NHL goalies. Face off coming in the Rams zone. North's going to pass it across to Miller. He's going to face some opponents there along the wall. This one now belongs to the Sun Devils. They're going to try to set up a shot, and that one's deflected and out of the zone. That's Anse trying to get his stick on it as... Bradley Budman, number eight for the Sun Devils, was on the other side, but now C.J. Nitchin trying to set something up, gets taken away. Now it's going to be a possible two-on-two -two chance for the Sun Devils. That's Deneen, who had one shot earlier, as we saw, trying to set up the opportunity for the Sun Devils. Buck being played behind, behind the net and into the corner now. That's Sullivan working around, and it gets knocked out of the zone. And the icing call. Still scoreless with 8.50 left to go here in this first period. We 
see Holston back in the faceoff circle for the Sun Devils. Rams showing some of their aggression, looking for an opportunity. Rams able to shut that one down. Now they're trying to work it out of their own zone. Tries to get the leading pass. And that's Anse. He's going to make something of it. Try to get the shot off, but just wide of the net. Huck still in the Sun Devil zone. But now they're going to have a chance to set up a play. A long pass to center ice. Being dumped towards the right side. And that's going to be Nelson playing it on his stick. Tyler Nelson to Ben Joseph. He's going to get it out of the zone. Try to get the pass across to Jack York for the Sun Devils. Rams able to try and take possession, but Sun Devils not giving up the puck so easily. Rams now working it out of their own zone. Two on two opportunity here. Shot, and that one's deflected, but a possible rebound shot, and that one's saved by Moore. Centering pass, and that one not able to be capitalized on by the Rams. Dumped back into the zone. Now the Sun Devils have possession of the puck. Jack York tries to get the leading pass towards the center. Try to get it to Jet Larson, who had some contestant from the Rams. Now it's being played into the corner by Gavin Klein. Now the Rams trying to work it out along the wall. Gets caught up near the blue line. Players battling for the puck along the wall now, and it's going to go behind Morgan's net. He's going to let Noah Miller take that. Gets the pass back and going to be a mini scramble for the puck there. As Moreno's going to go for this one. He's going to pass it back to Miller. Tried to get the pass towards the center, but no one there for it. It's Corey Taylor now has the puck. Gives it back to Miller. Miller knocking it off the wall towards Nelson. Miller's going to take it back. Trying to work his way out of the zone, but the Sun Devils just applying some big pressure here in this Rams defensive end, and they take it away. Possible chance, shot coming, and a big save from Morgan, and the Rams knock it out. We get the icing call. Another huge save from Morgan. Good thing Joe Morgan is staying strong in his net as Arizona is completely dominating this game right now. Even when the Rams have possession, they are applying pressure able to keep it into that offensive zone and generate more shots on net. We see Yuval Rosenthal, or excuse me, uh, Tim Hoffenkamp, number 20 for the Sun Devils in that face-off circle. This one coming across the center. Rams is trying to get it out. That's on Moreno's stick now. He's working across center ice. Just knocks it towards Moore. He's going to glove that up. And now the Rams are going to what might feel like finally getting ready for a faceoff in the opposite end. As the Rams and Sun Devils both take changes, they get ready for their faceoff. Now we see number 21 for the Sun Devils, Austin Palumbo in the face-off circle. That's got to be a fun name to have. Fun for us, at least. You get to say it. <laughs> Sun Devils trying to work it out of their own zone. This one caught towards the blue line. Cote tried to keep it in the zone, but it gets knocked out. That's Johnny Tower now. And Kyle Riley applying pressure. Just gets, just gets it by. That's the gear. Trying to set something up for the Rams. Showing a little bit of aggression along the wall here. Multiple shoves coming through from both sides. As the puck is worked out of the corner now. Rams able to get it out of the zone, but the Sun Devils still have possession of the puck. Tries to get the centering pass, and we've got the tripping call coming through. As we a saw little late Sun call by the ref, actually. We were wondering if he was going to call it at first, as it was, although an attempt to play the puck, taking out the player's feet. Kyle Riley, number 28, two minutes for tripping. Well, at least it's not a slashing call. <laughs> we saw a lot of those last week. He is week. known for those. <laughs> at some point, you just got to start wondering if it's something they said. Aggressive play. <laughs> And we see 
Holston tossed out of the faceoff circle there. And Howerly for the Sun Devils to come in and replace him. And we've got another whistle. Rebs penalty is on number 28, Kyle Riley. Two minutes for dripping. Riley, two minutes for tripping. Colorado State penalty at 14.41. Looks like the official having some discussion there with Millar for the Rams. And Millar is actually headed towards the penalty box. We're not quite sure what for yet, as neither is Millar, as the coach is waiting for an explanation as well. So this is going to be a five-on-three opportunity for the Sun Devils with 5.15 left to go in this first period. Almost an entire two-minute five-on-three penalty for the Sun Devils, making it a lot better for their chances. This one being worked around. York now with the puck Rams passes towards the side. Rams penalty for a delay shot. of game, serving the two-minute minor is number 15, Liam Millar. Colorado State penalty, two minutes delay of the game at 14.45. Now that is a penalty I don't you don't see called too often. At least we haven't seen so far this season. Not too much in the collegiate level as much. Or rather the NHL a little bit more, but still not much seen in there. Bouncing puck in front of the net, but Morgan's able to get a hold on that one. That puck was bouncing around in front of Joe Morgan, struggling to put his glove over top of that. Although he does get it eventually and keeps, uh, keeps the Sun Devils from scoring another goal, from scoring their first goal, actually. Sorry. Another face off to come in the Rams zone. Sun Devils win that face off. Now they're trying to set something up. This one goes back to York. He's going to pass it across to Kowalczyk. Back to York. Tries to get the pass towards the side. Back to York again. Shot coming and another save coming from Morgan. He's going to knock that away. Holston playing it on his take. Gives it back to York, to Kowalczyk. Tried to get the centering pass. Rams able to get a stick in front, and they knock it out of the zone to continue the penalty kill. Austin Ense, great dump, chopping that puck out of the zone. This one now on Budman's stick for Arizona State. He's going to try and lead the charge here into the Rams zone. He's going to take it down the right side, looking for an option. Gives it to Kowalchuk. Back to Budson. Or Budman, excuse me. Budman gives it on the right side to Havener. Adam Havener for the Arizona State. Gives it back. Going across. Shot coming. That one goes wide. Soft shot. And that one gets dumped out by the Rams. And they continue the penalty kill. As no big opportunities generated so far for Arizona State. They're running out of time on this five on three. And that is Budman on his stick. He's going to pass it across to Studioso. To Budman, to Studioso again. At the top shot, and that one goes wide. And that's one penalty and two penalties done, and the Rams have killed the five on three. Great job by the Rams killing a five on three penalty. Definitely a lot harder. And they get it out of the zone. Game. Now a possible chance coming the other way. Shot coming. That one goes wide right of the net. Three minutes left to go here in this first period. Rams able to keep it in the zone. See Kyle Nelson along the boards. Having some... Having some... Just some friendly, some friendly love taps there from Arizona State as they now carry it out to center ice. And backing around, Morgan... Going to play it on his stick. Tries to knock it around. This is a possible chance. Morgan having to slide back towards his net. As Rams scramble to take possession of the puck back. Dangerous attempt by Joe Morgan trying to make a play with the puck. This one given to Cote on the right side. Now the Sun Devil is able to take that one away. And Maxwell Eliza Day showing his face on the ice. And they give it back to him. And he's going to go down. We see no arm up from the officials. I'm sure the Rams are happy about that call. 
Puck seems to be stuck here along the boards. Sun Devils able to work it out. And that's Kenneth Miller, number four, leaning it around. Puck being played in the corner. Sun Devils now. That's Miller again. Tried to get the leading shot in. It just went wide and towards the back of the wall. And that's York now trying to lead it around the back wall again. Just about a minute and a half to go left in this first period. York at the blue line. He's going to pass it towards his left side. Towards Tim Hoffenkamp, number 20 for Arizona State. Puck now behind the net. And you see Palumbo again working for the puck. And multiple players losing their sticks and losing their balance. This one coming back up again. A shot coming, and that's another Kyle save. Kyle Riley with a glove save. <laughs> Playing defense for the Rams <laughs> as he takes off his glove and as he leans over in pain. That one. Playing without a stick as he handed it over to he another player. <laughs> he can do it all. Playing goalie for the Rams now, <laughs> taking Joe Morgan's place. We'll I'm see sure him <laughs> in there next period. <laughs> I'm sure Morgan's happy about that. He can take a breather. Definitely a hard shot to the hand. But it does look like we're going to get a penalty assessed as one Sun Devil does head into the penalty box. and it, I believe it was for a tripping call. So for the last minute 13 of this period, the Rams are going to have a power play. Sun Devil's penalty is on number 20, Tim Hoffenkamp. Two minutes for tripping. Hoffenkamp, two minutes for tripping. Arizona State penalty at 1847. So One minute remaining in the period. The Rams unsuccessful with their first power play opportunity, looking to see if they can clean that up a little bit. Cote trying to take it down the left side, less than a minute to go in the first period, and this one gets knocked out of the zone as the Rams have to head back to retrieve that one. Rams taking their time setting up this next play. This one heading towards the right side now. Coming into the zone, you see Anse trying to get the shot off, centering pass. Kote with a shot, and that's a big save from Moore, and it bounces wide. Playing along the boards now. You see Kote, 20 seconds left in to go in the period, passes back to Taylor, back to Kote on the left side. Gives it towards the left side, towards Joseph. Going to give it back to Taylor now at the blue line. Tried to get a shot, but deflected. Now coming, shot from the right side, and Moore with a glove save. Rams finally showing what they're made of with this penalty with this power play chance, as Arizona is definitely feeling the pressure, as well as definitely their goalie, Moore, having to make a save on that. It didn't lead to a goal, but I'm pretty sure that's the kind of power play opportunities that this Rams offense is looking to generate. Definitely a coach is happy with that kind of play. Eight seconds left to go, and it looks like Holston is gonna get tossed out of the faceoff circle again. As Palumbo is going to come in to take the face off. Rams trying to win that one. It goes right back towards Moore to knock a couple more seconds off the clock. Shot off the face off. 5.7 seconds remaining in this first period. If the Rams don't score within those few seconds, then the penalty will go on Shot to the coming. second period. And that one gets knocked out as the final seconds of the first period tick down. So after one period of play, the score is still tied at zero. The Rams will head into the second period with 46 seconds left to go on their power play. As we saw, they were starting to build some momentum now. We'll look to see if they carry it into the next period. You are watching Colorado Sports TV. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, we'll have the second period of action for you. I'm Litos Castro here with Tristan Anderson. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Colorado Sports TV. We're here ready to cover the second period of action for you between Colorado State University and Arizona State University. We had a fun period. We had a fun first period. No goal scored, though. However, there were chances developed on both sides of the ice. A couple of penalties we saw as well. Speaking of penalties, the Rams are heading into the second period with 46 seconds left on a power play opportunity that they acquired at the end of the first period. I'm Litos Castro here with Tristan Anderson. We've got all the action right here for you. Tristan, we saw some big chances for both sides. 
during that first period. What are you expecting? Are you expecting any adjustments or kind of the same type of game plan for both teams going into this one? Well, Arizona State definitely started off the period really strong, forcing the Rams to make turnovers and getting great scoring chances for them. But although the Rams did come back strong late in that, late in that first, so if the Rams keep playing like they did at the end of that period, and if Arizona tries to play like they did in the beginning, both teams will come out very strong. And as we see the Rams here trying to set up something here with the last seconds of their power play. And we see this one headed towards the back of the net. That is Kyle Nelson trying to set something up. Riley's going to pass it off to Foundos off the side. Casaria not able to handle that one at the blue line. It gets knocked out of the zone. Ten seconds left to go on the power play. Casaria now working it on the right side. Tries to lead it into the zone to Nelson. This one head towards the back of the net. Casaria loses his stick as he was going after that puck. And this one gets dumped out. And we get the icing call as the power play had just ended. So the Rams are going to be able to have the first face off in this Arizona State side of the second period. And we see Tanner Gillis to take the face off for the Rams and Levi Holston to take the face off for Arizona State. Puck headed towards the wall. We see Ben Joseph, who is a big goal scorer for this Rams side, trying to set something up now. Puck headed along the boards now. Still in the Arizona State zone. This one trying to be worked out by Kowalchuk, number five for Arizona State. This one now. You see Noah Miller trying to punch that one back into the zone. But nonetheless, Jack York able to take it out. He gets it off to Holston on the left side. Holston with a shot. Morgan able to face that one up. It gets knocked off him and out of play. Good save by Morgan. As we talked about before, he stays confident in his net. Trying to act as a brick wall in there. Block off any possible holes that could be shot into. He was actually asked in a post-game interview last weekend what is going through his mind whenever he has those kinds of one-on-one -on -one opportunities. And in one of the calmest manners, he just answered, you know, it's just what you got to do. You just got to go up and face the puck. And we actually see Morgan losing his stick. So he's going to need some help getting it back, but he's going to try and face that one. He gets his stick given back to him now. A little bit of a moment of chaos there for the Rams. As Morgan had to get a little bit of help. Now the puck's being played in the corner. Rams is trying to get it out, and they do. C.J. Nitchin carrying it off the right side. He's going to try and dump that one in towards Anse, and Anse getting spun around. And we have the whistle from the official. Well, we talked about Morgan losing his stick in that play, and it's definitely hard as goaltender to play your position and not be completely comfortable with how you're normally playing. So he was able to make one save within that opportunity, within that chance that Arizona had when he didn't have his stick. But it was a good save by him to stay calm, as we were talking about before, even with some chaos happening. And now Moreno to take the face off for the Rams, and I spoke too soon as he gets tossed out of the face off circle. And we'll see Max Engel headed in there for the Rams. And the Sun Devils going to try and work it out of their zone. Rams able to intercept. Shot from Moreno at the center. Traffic getting in the way of that one. Puck now being played along the boards. The Sun Devils just trying to knock it out of their own zone, and they do. This one being played by Tyler Nelson. He's going to try and knock it back, but the Sun Devils intercept. This might be a chance for them as Michael Wiggins trying to set something up, number 22, for the Sun Devils. Going to pass it back to Connor Deneen. Deneen trying to work it towards the center, and Morgan's going to dive on that one as the puck was knocked away from Deneen's stick. Seventeen twenty left to go. Still no goal scored, and the Rams had their first, excuse me, their second power play opportunity shut down, and so still no power play success today for either team.
Kyle Riley to take the faceoff for the Rams and Jared Horley to take the faceoff for the Sun Devils. And this one bounces off of Morgan off the faceoff. Puck now coming out of the corner. Sun Devils trying to set something up. Rams just trying to stay on the defensive. Rams getting it out of their own zone, but Sun Devils still have possession of the puck. Being carried in by Horley on the right side. Rams trying to keep it out of the zone, but they just can't. Shot coming and another big save from Morgan. What a glove save. Morgan sitting down to make that save. As he was far out of his net, trying to get the right positioning for that shot. As we see a great glove on Joe Morgan, as we have seen in the past games. And now we see Gillis in the faceoff circle for the Rams. And we see Kyle Nelson trying to work it out, but the Sun Devils able to take that one away. That's Gavin Klein now trying to hold it in the corner, trying to set something up for his teammates. Puck being played behind the net by Jet Larson. He's going to pass it back, back to Larson again. Larson fighting for his Sun Devils. He tries to kick it towards the back of the net, but the Rams trying to intercept it. And we see Kowalchuk trying to get his stick involved on that one. But Gillis now with a puck on his stick for the Rams. He's going to pass it back to Grayson North. North going to try to give the leaning pass to Kyle Nelson, but it's going to get by, and we're going to get the icing call. So far, not too much seen on this second period as only three minutes, or just over three minutes, has gone by. As we have the icing call, this results in the puck being dropped in the Rams' face-off zone. And we see Gillis tossed out of the face-off circle there, and you'll see Nelson come in to take the face-off for him. Grayson North able to win it. This one heads towards Joseph for the Rams. Joseph, long pass across to Nelson. Nelson down the left side, has it knocked away from his stick, but still in the Sun Devil zone. Gillis with a shot, bouncing off more, and he's gonna cover that one up for a face-off to come into the Sun Devil zone. That was quite impressive to be able to get that shot off with so many bodies on him. A strong goaltender presence from both sides of the ice. Gotta give it, gotta give credit to them tonight. So far they are perfect, both goalies. Knock on wood for, <laughs> for them. As I say that, they get scored on. Ten seconds later. <laughs> this puck headed out to center ice. Possible chance for the Sun Devils. That's Holston trying to take it down the left side. He's going to go down, and looks like we are going to have the tripping call. We're going to have another power play opportunity coming for the Sun Devils. Brian Casaria diving and sticking his stick out to have the trip. I would say it's a good penalty to take as there was a good chance on Joe Morgan that could have been put in there. So two minutes for Brian Casaria with 15 minutes and 36 seconds remaining in the second. We actually got that confirmation on the power play percentage for the Sun Devils, 8.7% on the power play. So I believe this is going to be their third opportunity as they had two chances in the Rams first Rams penalty is on number six, Brian Casaria, two minutes for tripping. Casaria, two minutes for tripping. Colorado State penalty at 424. Klein and Holston for the Sun Devils trying to work it out from behind the net. Holston gives it back to Klein. Klein now trying to find an option as he's getting some pressure from Johnny Tower. Grayson North to help him out. We see that duel a lot for this Rams side. Bouncing across the net, but no one there for the Sun Devils. And Cote now taking it down the right side. He's going to try to carry it himself. He's going to knock it towards the back end. It's going to hit the back net, and we're going to be ready for another faceoff. Faceoff coming to the middle of the ice as he did dump it down, and it hit the back of the back of the non-playable net, not the goal. So we'll see the players line up for their faceoffs at center ice. Now one player we're not seeing for the Sun Devil side who might be, who 
who is arguably one of the biggest offensive keys for the Sun Devil side is um, Yager Larson, number seven for the Sun Devils. He has not been out on the ice, and you can only wonder if that's in if that's from an injury standpoint, as he has the most points for his team with three goals scored and four assists. He's one of the big offensive generators for that team. So him missing from this lineup right now is probably a huge, a huge asset that the Sun Devils do not have out on the ice right now. Nonetheless, the Sun Devils do have other goal scorers on their lineup as they've tried to set something up during this power play. One minute left to go in the power play as the Sun Devils trying to work it out of their own zone. This one going towards the left side. And we've got a whistle. Looks like it's going to be offsides. As we look at some of those other goal scorers, you got number 12, Holston, for the Sun Devils, and also... 16, Jet Larson. So we'll keep an eye on those guys as they both have three goals scored for their team during this season. Faceoff coming just outside the blue line. Sun Devils able to win that one, and now they're trying to set up a play. Havener gives that one off to York. York is going to try and set up a play, but gets away from them, and Noah Miller now has it on his stick, but gets taken away from him. That is something the Rams have got to clean up as we've seen a lot of those happen during this matchup. And this one now, a possible chance coming. And the shot headed towards, and it gets in the back of the net, and that's a score. The first goal for the Sun Devils coming through with 14 minutes left to go here in this second period. They get the power play goal. We were talking about it throughout the first period and into the second one. And I believe that is Adam Havener getting the first goal of the game. Scoring himself and the puck as he was in the back <laughs> of the net. That counts as two, right? <laughs> A little bit harder to score yourself. I, we should count that as five. <laughs> Not here, though. We need that home ice advantage for the Rams. This one being dumped towards the back is the Rams now needing to recoil from that power play goal that they just let get by. This one might be another chance for the Sun Devils as this one's coming through the center, but Morgan's going to cover that up on his glove and Johnny Tower getting a little bit, a little bit physical there with Connor Denis on that Sun Devil side. Rams making the offensive line change as they set up for their face off in their defensive zone. And Deneen gets tossed out as Michael Wiggins will head in for him on that Sun Devil side. Arizona State power play goal is scored by number nine, Adam Havener with the assist to number 16, Jet Larson, and number 13, Garrett Amaya. Havener from Larson and Amaya. Sun Devils power play goal at six minutes. So we heard that goal coming through for Havener, who was assisted by number 13, Garrett Amaya, and number 16, Jet Larson, who we were just saying what is one of the big goal scorers who now is on the, has an assist for his name this game. And this one now headed back into the Ram zone. I'm sure they're getting a little bit tired of it being down here. Sun Devils nonetheless trying to set up an opportunity, try to get the centering pass, but Rams able to intercept that one. Johnny Tower going after the puck now. Tries to get the pass away, but Sun Devils able to get in the way of that. Tower gets his glove on that one now, and he's still taking it into the Sun Devils. Oh, centering pass, shot deflected. And Good block was, by the Sun Devils. That was, I believe, number two, Garrett Brown for the Sun Devils, who is showing his face out on the eight and gets a good block to start off his shift. And Cote able to take that one away. He tries to keep it in this Sun Devil zone. And that's Moore trying to knock it out. Shot coming from Riley, but that one blocked by traffic. And that was Brian Casaria with a shot, and that one also deflected by traffic. 
Sun Devils knock it out of the zone, but Rams still trying to maintain possession. Nonetheless, the Sun Devils able to try and keep it on their sticks. This one headed towards Morgan, playing it on his stick. He's going to knock that one around. Able to keep it in the zone was Gavin Klein. Sun Devils trying to work it. Shot coming, soft one, but still bouncing. Puck, Morgan scrambling, and he's able to cover that one up. Great grab by Joe Morgan. Scrambling around in his net. Still, still staying strong, although he has let him one goal tonight. Face off now to come in the Rams zone. And Rams able to win that one. This one headed towards center as we see Anse putting in some of his speed but not able to get to the puck in time. Sun Devils now trying to set up another offensive play. This one knocked towards the corner. That's Corey Taylor on his stick, getting it off to Thrutchley. This one kept in the zone by the Sun Devils. Taylor handles the puck in the slot, tries to just knock it out of the zone, and the Rams do. Again, Anse with his speed headed towards that puck. Puck gets knocked around towards York. York tries to knock it out of the zone. Rams able to keep it in. Rams trying to get a shot off of it. Thrushley with a slap shot and a big shot bouncing puck. Rams looking for it. Still so bouncing around. Rams looking for a shot. We see one penalty arm go up. Puck still bouncing around and the whistle's blown. Cross check. Rams having a good chance there as the puck was loose with Moore, Arizona's goaltender, down on the ice. As you see number five after that play, Zachary Kowalchuk going to the penalty box for a cross check, which will result in a Rams power play for two minutes. What a missed opportunity as that puck was loose in front of the net for probably way longer than the Sun Devils would like. So I believe this is gonna be the third power play opportunity for the Rams. Have been unsuccessful so far as the Sun Devils were able to put it, the puck in the back of the net on their last one. So the Rams gonna try and respond now as they have the advantage for this one. Sun Devils penalty is on number five, Zach Kowalczyk, two minutes for cross checking. Kowalczyk, two minutes for cross-checking. Arizona State penalty at 9.09. And we see the crowd starting to get behind this Rams team as we see some of the big hits starting to come out from the players. And the Rams now able to generate some opportunities on goal. Kyle Riley trying to work it on his stick, fighting off one man after another. This one going across the, the center. Johnny Tower able to get around one, try to get the centering pass, but gets intercepted. That's Nelson now with the puck on his stick. Back to Casaria at the blue line. Casaria taking it across, tried to get the shot, trying to create some action. Gets deflected and out of play. I'm sure the Rams are happy with the way they've been playing these past few seconds, or almost minute now, on this power play. Creating a few good chances. Having some big hits out there. And definitely making Arizona wanting to kind of forfeit the goal up there. I'm sure they don't. 10.01 now left to go in the period. Just about 1.05 left to go in the power play. Rams trying to set something up again. This one being played along the blue line. Almost lost it there it was Corey Taylor. Gets passed to Cote coming across. Try to get the centering pass again, blocked by traffic. Cote passes back to Taylor. Taylor back to Cote. Cote with a shot. That one also gets blocked by a couple Sun Devil sticks, and it gets knocked out of the zone towards Morgan. He's going to play it on his stick and just hand that one off to Taylor as we see Holston for the Sun Devils up here to apply some pressure. We already saw in the first period Sun Devils not making it easy while the Rams are in their own zone, but nonetheless, Corey Taylor taking it across the center. Almost handed it off there. Grayson North able to get his stick around one. And the Rams keep the puck alive in this Sun Devil zone. And the final second ticking down. Just about 15 seconds left to go on the power play. Centering pass. Anse not able to get something off of it. Taylor with a shot. Tried to create something. Bouncing across now. Cote with the puck on his stick. 
Five seconds left to go in the power play. Rams trying to set something up. North with another shot, bouncing puck, goes behind the net. Try to get the backhander towards the center. And that is Ben Joseph. Another bouncing puck gets by Cote. Back to full strength are the Sun Devils. Sun Devils now just trying to get the puck out of their zone and they're gonna have possession as Adam Havener, who has the one goal for his team, leads it out of his zone. This one coming down, we see some moves being applied here from Jet Larson, tried to get the centering pass and a big chance shut down. Joseph now carrying it out for the Rams, try to get the pass across, intercepted. The Rams able to dump it in. The Rams gonna go for a line change. This one soaring the puck through the air. And Caseri is gonna turn that one right around. But Moreno now has it on his stick in the Rams zone. Gonna get it across to Tyler Nelson. A long pass over to, I believe, found us on the left side. He's looking for options to get the centering pass, but no big shot able to be applied. And it looks like that was Casaria trying to get that. He was able to get the centering pass, not able to finish the shot, and he went sliding into the net as Moore and Casaria take out the net. Rams not able to capitalize on that power play opportunity, but nonetheless, still some opportunities generated. So 7.48 now left to go in this second period. Sun Devils still lead the Rams 1-0 after scoring that earlier power play goal. And we see Tanner Gillis going down after the face off there, having to hurry back for his team. Joseph now on his stick. He's gonna get knocked by Kowalchuk on the Sun Devil side, but we do have a whistle. Looks like puck went out of play. Hit someone on the Arizona bench. Face off now to come at center ice. Now the Rams trying to set something up. That's Johnny Tower trying to get it on his stick and lead it into this Sun Devil zone battling through multiple of those players. We see a penalty arm go up. Johnny Tower still trying to work it, but Sun Devils get their stick on it. As Morgan was headed to the bench, he's gonna make that quick little U-turn back to his net. We see Michael Wiggins headed into the penalty box for the Sun Devils, number 22. Face off. Now with the Rams having another power play opportunity, they've had some potential. We're gonna see if they can finally capitalize on these opportunities, but we do have another whistle from an official. Looks like that was gonna be the offsides call, and we're gonna have the face off right outside the Sun Devil zone. Riley to take the face off for the Rams as Jared Howerly was on his opposite side. The Sun, Sun Devil's Devil. penalty is on number 22, Mike Wiggins, two minutes for tripping. Wiggins, two minutes for tripping. Arizona State penalty at 12.38. This is gonna be the fourth power play opportunity for the Rams as this one being worked towards the slot and a shot coming, that one goes high and wide. Brian Casaria making a few moves up to the center ice. Making the Rams bench going off. As there is one minute and 25 seconds remaining on their power play. We'll see if the Rams can generate from this. I think we're seeing a lot more of the single player setups coming from both sides as players are trying to show what kind of moves they can pull off with their sticks. But Rams now setting up an offensive attacking plan. This one to Taylor. He's gonna hand it off to Millar, or excuse me, Ante. This one headed towards the side, centering pass, bouncing puck. The Sun Devils able to gain possession and this one being carried out of the zone. And that is Jet Larson who has an assist on that one goal for his team. Doing a 
Very good job. And now the Sun Devils might have an opportunity again on Larson's stick. But as the Sun Devils made a quick change, Rams able to take possession of the puck back. Now it's on Cote's stick on the right side. Cote having some pressure along the boards. Grayson North passing it back to Joseph. Joseph trying to get the centering pass. Another bouncing puck, a backhander, and another save coming from this Sun Devils team. Shot from Anse. That one goes wide. Joseph now passing it back to Corey Taylor. Taylor at the blue line, getting it back to Joseph. To Anse going across to North. North with a big shot and a big save from Moore. As the final 10 seconds tick down on that power play, the Rams, it's not that they're not setting up opportunities, it's just this defense for the Sun Devils has been, it's been a strong wall that they cannot get over. Definitely their goaltending, more, just more than their defense, as the Rams have gotten some shots off past the defense, but Moore coming up really strong for his team to save those. Nelson. Off a very good scoring chance. Tyler Nelson taking it down the right side, trying to set something up for the Rams. This one getting across. Now the Sun Devils might have an opportunity on the offensive attack here. Centering pass, but no Sun Devil able to capitalize on it. And the Rams trying to get out of their zone, have the puck hit the net, and we're going to have a face-off in this Rams defensive end. Four fifty left to go here in this second period. Sun Devils still lead 1-0. Off the power play goal they scored earlier. The Rams now trying to work it out of their zone. A big hit coming. And now the Rams trying to take it down the other way. Moreno trying to work it around, but it has the puck taken away from him. By Garrett Brown, number two. Now being worked by Adam Havener. Another big opportunity, but this... Just comes, this play comes crashing right into the net and Morgan, he's just standing there like nothing happens. You got a penalty on the Rams, Brian Casaria. As the refs will call that as intentionally pushing the Arizona player into the goal. Which could be called a number of different kind of penalties, which we'll find out soon what they call it. So with 4.27 left to go, the Sun Devils get another power play. They were successful in their last opportunity, looking to do even more damage. Rams' penalty is on number six, Brian Casaria. Two minutes for interference. Casaria, two minutes for interference. Colorado State penalty at 15.33. Big shot coming from that right side, and the Rams now able to take advantage of the loose puck and knock it out of the zone. As the first 30 seconds of the power play already coming to a close. Rams able to apply some pressure and keep it out of their defensive end a little bit longer. Long pass across. That one handed off. Klein trying to hand it off to Bradley Budman on that Arizona State side. That's Holston trying to set up a play. Some quick passes coming. And a shot coming and a big save from Morgan. Another rebound shot, scores! Another big goal scored from this Sun Devil side. And again on the power play to put them up 2-0 to zero with 3.31 left to go in this second period. Number eight, Bradley Budham with the goal for Arizona, making it 2-0. Off of that rebound shot. And looks like the officials just clearing up some stuff before that center ice face off takes place. So now the Rams down by two, having another mountain to climb as they are just getting ready to head into this third period. And I'm sure if you're on the Rams coaching staff, that's just Arizona gotta be Arizona State power play goal is scored by number eight, Bradley Budman, with the assist to number 12, Levi Halston. 
At number 19, Gavin Klein. Budman from Halston and Klein. Sun Devils power play goal at 1629. So we saw the goal scored from Bradley Budman, assisted from Holston and Klein on that Arizona State side. But just under three minutes left to go here in this second period. The Rams still trying to set something up. Puck being played along the boards, and now the Sun Devils trying to carry it out of their own zone, and they do. And Riley trying to work it on his stick, able to handle the shove coming from Kowalchuk. And he's actually going to knock one down as well. Anse coming on the right side. The crowd getting into it as well. Riley with a shot. That one gets blocked by Moore. Now a possible two-on-two -two opportunity. Three-on-two as the Rams get another man back. And that's Tyler Nelson who has it on his stick. Passing it back to Taylor. Taylor trying to work it from behind his own net. But again, the Sun Devils with another takeaway. And that is Jared Horley who now has... Possible opportunity, try to get the centering pass, deflected off a skate, pass across, still comes through, and a shot and another save. This one knocked off the wall, but again, another shot possibly coming. This one again saved by Morgan. Garrett Brown with a couple shots there. Number two on that Arizona State side. And now Anse is going to try and work it out of the zone, and he does. That's going to be Laguerre applying some pressure, but... Again, the Sun Devils coming in. Rams staying on the defensive side. A shot coming, another save from Morgan. Bouncing off of him. And the Sun Devils trying to set up another offensive play here with just about a minute left to go here in this second period. This one being knocked around. Holston, who, has, who had an assist on that last goal, has that puck get away. One minute remaining. The Devils staying on the offense here, and I'm sure the Rams just want to get it out of their zone. Puck being held here near the corner. A couple players from both sides just trying to get their sticks on it, and they do. That was finally Alexander Demon able to get it out, but now possible chance coming. Sun Devils working it around. Just about 30 seconds left to go in the period. That was Miller knocking it back. Towards Demon. Demon's going to go down and he's going to take a couple shoves from Nelson. This one heads out center ice and in to the Sun Devils end with just about 15 seconds left to go. Now this one gets dumped into the Rams end as Johnny Tower's going to go retrieve that one. Just under 10 seconds left to go. Rams just trying to keep it out of their own zone as the final second sick down. The final shot going wide in the net. So after two, we have two goals scored, two power play goals scored from this Arizona State side. Very well done job by them. The Rams heading into the locker room, needing to come up with a game plan of how they're going to come back into this one. When we come back, we will have the third period action for you and see what the rest of this game has for you. You are watching Colorado Sports TV. I'm Litos Castro here with Tristan Anderson. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Colorado Sports TV. We are here covering the third period of action for you between Colorado State University and Arizona State University. We're just about ready to get into this third period of action. If you're just now joining us, if you missed out on the first two periods, they were exciting. There were no goals scored in the first. However, in the second, a couple power play opportunities for the Sun Devils led to a two-goal lead for them as they exited into the locker rooms for the second period intermission. So now, as we go in to this final period of action, the Sun Devils lead the Rams two to zero. I'm Lito Castro here with Tristan Anderson. We've got all the action here for you, and I'm sure you're excited as we are for this third period. As we have seen the Rams come back from a two goal deficit before in the third period, we're gonna see if they can do it again. Now, as we get ready for this action to start up, Tristan, what 
what do you think the Rams are needing to do as far as how, what is going to be what is going to be the game plan as far as getting back into this game? Well, obviously, as Arizona State has scored two times on the on their power play opportunities, the Rams are definitely going to have to try and hold off on getting any more penalties for their team. Try and keep it five on five hockey. Luck, lucky if they get five on four for their team, or possibly even a five on three. As we see Arizona State and Colorado State both come onto the ice. We'll see how this third period goes underway. Now I think one thing that we've both noticed, and you just, no matter who you are, you gotta give credit to both of the, both of the guys between the posts tonight. Joe Morgan for the Rams and um, Ronson Moore for the Sun Devils. Moore is still, still hasn't been scored on obviously, but just what a, what a brick wall this man has been tonight. Moore has definitely stayed strong in his net, as we have seen Morgan do as well, although he does have two goals scored against him. I believe both of them were off of rebounds, maybe just the second one. We could jinx Moore, as we are CSU students. <laughs> Keep knocking on that wood. We'd rather them win. And as we see the players getting ready for the puck drop at center ice. I believe we see Austin Palumbo and the faceoff circle and Kyle Riley to be his counterpart. And the Ram uh, excuse me, the Sun Devils are going to win the faceoff on that one. Rams able to get the puck back in a quick interception, but they give it right back to the Sun Devils. This might be a chance for them. Palumbo knocking it in. Casario playing it on his stick. Sun Devils trying to take it back, and they do. That is Michael Wiggins trying to set something up, and a shot coming towards Morgan, but it gets intercepted. And a big hit coming on Cote along the board. And that is Kowalchuk heading it back to York. Or no, excuse me. No, that is York. Knew that. Definitely him. This one being worked in the left side by Deneen. This one being carried across center ice now. A possible chance for the Rams. Riley with a shot. Easy save for Moore. Riley able to keep it from going out of the zone. This might be a chance. North in the slot. Backhander towards Moore, and he's going to catch that one right in his chest. It's a good backhander by North, as they are hard to aim. He puts it into the middle of the goalie. Good chance from the Rams there, although. With 18.54 remaining in the third period. I think one thing that's just got to be frustrating for the Rams, it's not that they don't have the shots. They've got the shots. It's just they're not getting in the back of the net. And this one now coming across. A shot coming from the top near the blue line. That one's a good save for more. Another one coming right off the post and out of play. And the Rams are already starting to apply some of this big pressure as the third period begins. Eighteen thirty-nine now left to go here in the third period. Again, the Sun Devils lead the Rams 2-0. to zero. The Rams needing to work up a game plan to come back into this one. A shot coming from the side. That one goes across the crease and goes wide. Rams just trying to keep it in the zone. You see Thrutchley trying to play it from the blue line and Rams knock it towards the back of the net. Or behind the net, excuse me. That's Kyle Nelson playing it on his stick. Looking for options as he's getting that puck contested. Moreno knocking it back towards Nelson. This one being handed off to Gillis. Gillis along the wall just trying to hold strong as he has Kenneth Miller, number four for the Sun Devils, on his back. Nelson trying to get the pass off to Gillis. Gillis now looking for, he tried to get the backhander pass, but was blocked and a big hit coming from him, but the puck now headed into the Rams zone. Now we see the Rams just trying to set up their defense. Centering pass intercepted by the Rams, and now they're trying to take it down the other way. Nelson and Thrutchley have their pass play intercepted. 
Now the Sun Devils trying to head it back in. It has backhander shot, and that one went wide of the net. Now the Rams trying to adapt defensively. We see Levi Holston back on the ice for the Sun Devils. He has an assist for his team already. Sun Devils trying to set something up. Holston passes it down. Back to York. York chance to get the pass towards Morgan, or excuse me, the shot towards Morgan. He's going to handle that well. York knocking it back. Puck gets knocked around. And this one intercepted by Thretchley. He's able to get it out of the zone. And we see CJ Nitchin applying some pressure. Still the puck getting knocked into the Rams zone. And we have a whistle. Face off coming all the way back into Arizona State's defensive end for the Rams to try and have a chance at putting this one on goal. Now we see Holson and Riley to take the face off. Sun Devil's going to win that face off. This one now headed into the Rams zone. This one being played by Tyler Nelson. Riley now has it on his stick. He's going to try and take it around as he faces the other number 28, Aiden Sullivan. On that Sun Devil side. Shove coming along the boards from Riley. This one headed towards the blue line. Knocked back in by Bradley Budman, who has one of the goals scored for the Sun Devils. Rams trying to get it out of their own zone. That is Brian Casaria going to the ground. And we have a whistle. Looks like it's going to be offsides. And this one off the face off now, still into the Ram zone. Sun Devils looking to set up a play. And now this puck being played at center ice. CJ Nitchin able to get the pass off to Joseph. Joseph trying to set something up now on this left side. Looking for options, gets the pass across. A shot coming from North. Gets deflected and out of play. Millar. Talking to the ref a little bit about his shove in front. Push to the ground. Pointing to the guy that did, did it to him. And this one, Rams winning the faceoff. North dumping it around, trying to set something off the wall. Sun Devil's able to take it down the other way now. Miller has that puck get by him as he has Gavin Klein who has an assist for the team on his back with speed. Miller knocking it to North. North handing it down to Moreno. This one getting by. Now into the Sun Devil zone. Rams trying to keep it in. This one. Sun Devil's now taking it down the other way. Possible opportunity on the offensive attack. Shot towards Morgan, he handles it fine. This one now along the boards. Coming through the center. That's Jet Larson, who also has an assist. As they've been, as the Sun Devils have scored two very team-oriented goals. This one might be a chance now. Shot coming, more with a save. And this one gets knocked out of the zone. Seeing some good back and forth action so far in this third period. The Rams do know that the clock is still working against them, though, as we've just about passed the five-minute mark of the third period. Puck now heading back into the Rams zone. Morgan coming out to try and play it on his stick, but lets his teammates come and support him. Moreno able to knock it out of the zone, and it's going to head down for an icing call. Now the faceoff to come back into the Rams zone. You see Kyle Riley set up for the Rams on this faceoff. 
one now, bouncing. Shot coming from York and a big save from Morgan off the pad. This one now along the boards. A few players from each side trying to get it out. Rams now looking to set something up from their own zone. Gets dumped into the Sun Devils end. Near the back wall, that was Kowalchuk knocking it around for Havener. This one gets passed across to Kowalchuk again. He's going to get the leading pass down. Miller able to get there first to get it on his stick. Now it's North trying to carry it out. Gets the long pass over to Riley. Riley looking to set something. Or excuse me, that's Anse. Anse tried to take the puck into Moore, but he was able to handle it just fine. Now Noah Miller... Setting up a play, but the Sun Devils, again, going back to what we saw a lot of in the first period, not letting the Rams easily get out of their own zone. And this one was a possible shot coming from the left side, hit the back of the net. Puck being played in the corner now. Rams and Sun Devils looking to get it out. This one now being carried by Cote through the center ice. Cote's going to go down. But still, possible chance here. That's Miller dumping it ar around for the Rams to make a line change. And looks like the Devils are going to make a couple changes as well. And this one, uh, almost a tackle coming from Connor Deneen. I think he might be looking to play another sport this weekend. Ben Joseph now, as we see Morgan heading to the bench, so an extra attacker out on the ice for the Rams. And the whistle comes through, and we're going to have another power play opportunity for the Rams. So at 12 minutes and 15 seconds remaining in this third period, Arizona State up 2-0. Rams getting another chance on their power play as number 23 for Arizona State, Connor Deneen goes to the penalty box. We see the power play line get up and ready for the faceoff. Rams not able to get their sticks on that Sun one. Sun Devils penalty is on number 23, Connor Deneen. Two minutes for a holding. Deneen, two minutes for holding. Arizona State penalty at 545. Rams now. Rams now carrying it through the center. That is Kyle Nelson working it around with speed. Hands it off to Foundos. We haven't seen much of him this game. Back to Nelson on the left side. Nelson tried to get it back to Tower. Got deflected. Tower passing it across to Casari. Casari trying to keep it in the zone, and he does. This one now pass back to Riley. Riley with a shot, and that one goes off the back wall. Sun Devils try to knock it out, but Tower was there to keep that from going. Players still battling for the puck. Tower again keeping it from going out of the zone. Well done from him. Riley trying to set something up. Bouncing it off his stick. Pass it back to Tower. Tower back to Riley. It's going to bounce off Riley. And out of the zone it goes. Rams now going for a small change as one minute has gone by in the power play. Rams being unsuccessful on it. all the power play opportunities that they've had so far. So if you're on that Rams coaching staff, you need one of these to end up in the back of the net. They're not bad chances either. The Rams are generating good chances off their power play, just unable to get it into the back of that net. And just like that one we saw there from Austin Anse, just hit the back wall. Another shot coming and a glove save from Moore. Even does a little windmill to finish it off. We have 25 seconds remaining on the Deneen penalty. And Sun Devils win that faceoff again and able to dump it out of the zone as just about 15 seconds left to go here in the power play opportunity for the Rams. North now has it on his stick. Rams just looking to get in the offensive zone while they still have the man advantage. And still going through, we see one player's lost his take a shot coming from Taylor, bouncing puck, rebound, scores! 
A big goal to make it. A one goal game with 10 minutes and 12 seconds remaining. Right as the power play. Right as the power play comes to a close, the Rams get the rebound shot in the back of the net. As we talked about in the beginning of this game, cleaning up in front, getting those rebounds into the back of the net. Sam Cote really taking that rebound, grateful, gratefully for his team as he makes it 1-2. That might not be a power play goal, but it's close enough for the Rams. As long as it ends up in the back of the net, I'm sure they're happy about it. So with 10 minutes left to go in this game, the Rams now have put the deficit back to one. And this might be another chance for him as it's bouncing around. A shot coming with Casario. That's a score! A goal! Ryan Casario. <laughs> and just like that, the Rams have tied it up. Not even 30 seconds going by. And they put two goals be behind Moore. And they're back in this game. Moore definitely has to feel a little bit down about letting two goals in off two shots. Now a 2-2 game with each team scoring twice, nine minutes and 50 seconds remaining in this third period. So this game just got a whole lot more interesting, folks as it's now tied at two. And the Rams might have another opportunity, a big shove coming on Joseph. And now the Sun Devils looking to take it the other way now. And the first Colorado State goal is scored by number eight, Sam Cote with the assist to number 21, Ben Joseph, and number 10, Grayson North. Cote from Joseph and North, Rams goal at 9.48. The second Colorado State goal, scored by number 23, Tanner Gillis, with the assist to number six, Brian Casaria. Gillis from Casaria, Rams goal at 10-10. And this one now bouncing around in the Sun Devil zone. As we saw that goal coming through for Tanner Gillis, number 23 on that Rams side with the assist to Brian Casaria and the First goal scored by Sam Cote. Big shot on Morgan, and he's having another big save coming through. As far as that first goal goes, Sam Cote with the goal and the assist to Grayson North and Ben Joseph. So now 9.03 left to go, and we have a tie game here in this third period. This puck now being played along the boards. Rams trying to get it out. And I'm sure if you're on the coaching staff of the Rams, that is, even if you're just on the Rams bench, that is a confidence booster to have two goals scored back to back like that. We have seen it before by the Rams, which ended up in them winning in the penalty, in the, not penalty shot, the face, I'm sorry. <laughs> that shootout. <laughs> the shootout, thank you. And we have more heading to the bench as there's a penalty on the Rams. And this one comes crashing down on Morgan. As usual, he's unfazed by the conflict. So we see two Ram players in the penalty box now. With eight minutes and 26 seconds remaining, the game is tied at 2-2. Two -two. So after just scoring two goals, now the Rams have to kill off another five on three opportunity. They killed off the first one during the first period, although the Sun Devils are on a two-goal streak with their power play opportunities, so 
we're going to see if they can continue to apply that power play pressure. Rams penalty is at 11.34 in the period on number 23, Tanner Gillis. Two minutes for tripping. The other Rams penalty is on number 10, Grayson North. Two minutes for holding. Gillis, two minutes for tripping. North, two minutes for hold. Colorado State penalties at 11.34. This one now, an offensive attack trying to be set up here by the Sun Devils. This one going across to Studioso. Studioso passing it off to the left side, a shot coming, that one goes wide. The net just barely coming off the crease. Joe Morgan pointing that out to the referee so there can be a stoppage of play. And those two goals have definitely brought this crowd back into the action if they were ever out of it. As 116 now left to go in this five on three. And we see Adam Havener out there on the ice who has one goal for the Sun Devils already. And two Rams get tossed out of the faceoff circle. Which is a penalty having two consecutive players tossed out of the faceoff dot. Looks like Millar slowly making his way to the penalty box. I believe it's not it's possible to have a five on two, so there will be a five on three still. I believe it's gonna be for that little tap he gave there on having her skates with his stick. And this one coming across, possible chance for York. York with a shot and another deflection going out wide. So that's gonna restart the power play process for Arizona State. This one coming towards the net, but Morgan gonna cover that one up. As there's now 56 seconds left to go in the five on three. For the first two Rams come out of the box and then you'll see Millar having to serve the rest of his penalty. And I this is a moment that they're behind. Is on the team. 15, Liam Shot Millar, coming, bouncing puck. Game. Coming Millar, across, two minutes for delay possible of game. shot again, Colorado and Morgan again Metal covering game. that one up. And Morgan. Joe Morgan coming up big for his team as that puck was bouncing around, hitting it three times about with his blocker. And then making the save off of the, off of Arizona State's attempt to take control of Morgan being on the ground for a minute. So now 7-11 left to go in the period, 45 seconds left to go on the on the five on three. This one gets passed across to York with another shot and another big save by Morgan. Another face-off to come in the Rams zone. You see Holston in the face-off circle for the Sun Devils. This one able to get knocked out of the zone by the Rams, and I'm sure they like that little bit of a breather now. 30 seconds left to go in the five on three. Sun Devils with speed coming in to the zone. Holston trying to set something up. Passes it back to Kowalchuk, passing it across to York. York looking for a shot, and he gets it off the post. Rebound shot, scores! And with the five on three, the Sun Devils put it in the back of the net to increase the lead to three to two. Now one of the penalties will be taken off of the board. And that's gotta be an uplifting feeling for Moore, the goaltender for the Sun Devils is after giving up that back-to-back -back goal, and now his team is back in the lead. And it looks like we just had one Ram escorted off the ice. That looked like to be Brian Casaria taken off the ice for the Rams, and that is gonna be a big asset that this Rams team is missing if he's out of this game. So when this game was getting more interesting, it 
it did not stop as now the Sun Devils are back to a one goal lead. Scoring off the power play opportunity. They still have 16 seconds left to go in Tanner Gillis's penalty. And then in Liam Millar's penalty, we'll get the fixed time on that one. But he still has to serve out the rest of his power play. So it's still going to be a five on three. And the Rams defense, the Rams penalty kill needing to come through if they don't want this game to get too far away from them. The Rams only have two players on the ice. And a little bit of confusion on the bench. Looks like we're going to see Corey Taylor come out. So the three men on the ice is Sam Cote, Grayson North, and Corey Taylor out there for the Rams. As Sun Devils. Arizona State power play goal is scored by number 19, Gavin Klein, with the assist to number 12, Levi Halston, and number 27, Jack York. Klein from Halston and York. That's one. Sun Devils the power line. play goal at 15. A whiffed Play pass there, that penalty's the over, and now it's down to a five on four. Rams penalty is on number six, Brian Casaria, 10 minute misconduct. Casaria, 10 minute misconduct at 13 18. We just heard that misconduct penalty called on Casaria, and so again, that's going to be a big key player that the Rams are missing from their lineup for the rest of this game. Sun Devils still trying to set something up. After that goal, looking to increase the lead even more. Players handing it off to each other. This one to York at the blue line. York passes it across. The fake shot coming from Kowalchuk, and that one's also off the post. Sun Devils looking to set something up again. Kowalchuk back to York, and another shot. That one gets deflected and goes wide. This one bouncing in front of the net, but we do have a whistle as it looks like the net might have come off balance. Fans Colorado State Hockey return to the ice tomorrow night here at the Evans. When the Rams take on the Arizona Wild. So now 45 seconds left to go in the power play opportunity for the Sun Devils. They, they have scored all their goals on power play opportunities and I think that just seems to be the story of what the Rams need to clean up is allowing these other teams to have so many special teams opportunities. So now this one being worked around the boards. Rams just trying to get it out of their own zone and continue the penalty kill. Sun Devils still have possession. Try to get the centering pass. Morgan able to get his stick on that. And now it's knocked out of the Rams zone. 30 seconds left to go in the power play. Kowalchuk has it on his stick. Looking to start up the play. He's going to pass it off to York. York on the right side. Passing it back to Havener. Havener passing it back to York. York getting back in position now along the blue line. Back to Havener. Havener passing it back to Kowalchuk to York on the left side, trying to get it towards the center. Rams now able to take it away. As the final seconds ticking down on the power play, they're back to even straight. Anse trying to make something happen, but loses the puck in the process. This one's still in the Sun Devil zone, though. And a big shove coming along the wall, but we've got another whistle. Looks like it's going to be offside. A long delayed offsides by the Rams as the penalty, as a faceoff will come outside of the zone. So now 4.33 left to go in the period. The Rams are down one again. We've seen, a, we've seen a last minute goal come from them to tie it up, which led it into overtime. We get the icing call there. So I'm sure the Rams are now starting to draft up that game plan on how they're gonna stay in this one. Face off in the Sun Devil zone. And the Sun Devils are the ones that win it. They're trying to knock it out of their own zone. Thrutchley not able to get that one in the air. Morgan's going to play it on his tick, trying to knock it around. Sun Devils trying to set up an offensive attack here. Thrutchley has it on his tick for the Rams. He's going to pass it towards the gear. The gear working it around towards center ice. He's got a lot of Sun Devils in front of him. Kyle Nelson getting that one to Grayson North. 
Left side, big shove coming along the boards as the puck gets knocked off the back wall. Time working against the Rams. Nelson able to cut off that offensive lead, but Rams now going for this one. North being contested by Michael Wiggins. Rams able to get it out of their own zone, but Sun Devils have it on their sticks. That's Wiggins going for that one in the corner for the Sun Devils, along with his teammate Olsen, who has two assists to his name. Pass towards the center, backhander. Another shot, backhander towards Morgan. None of them made it to the net as the Rams kept it away. Sun Devils tried to catch the Rams during a line change, but not quick enough. Pass towards Olsen. Olsen with a shot deflected. Sun Devils almost able to generate an opportunity. Now Cote has it on his stick. As he leads this one towards Anse. This one bouncing towards the center. Bouncing puck shot coming. Another bouncing puck still. Rams looking to set something up. Anse battling for the puck. Bouncing off multiple sticks and multiple skates. And now the Sun Devils able to get it out of their own zone. As you see, Jared Howerly racing for that puck. Trying to keep the offensive push going as we just have a little under two and a half minutes left to go in this period. The Rams having to develop something quickly if they want to stay in the game. And the pass across and a pass gone awry. This might be a chance for the Sun Devils. Rams able to get a stick on that, and it's now headed the other way. Kyle Riley has on his stick, a three on two opportunity. Riley with a shot, and that one gets zoomed by Y. Two minutes now. I'm sure the goaltender is happy it didn't go towards, it didn't hit the net. Let alone him. This one now being worked off the left side by Tyler Nelson. North going to go towards the back, but Sun Devil's going to try and clear it out. Millar has it on his stick. At center ice, tries to dump it in. And it looks like we've got a whistle as the puck seemed to bounce off a couple Sun Devils on the bench. So now we're gonna have to start keeping an eye on Morgan as there's 138 left to go in the period. The Sun Devils lead the Rams three to two after scoring the power play goal, and it looks like we're going to have a timeout called. Timeout, Colorado State. So Colorado State calls their only timeout of the game with a minute 38 remaining. We'll keep an eye on Joe, Joe Morgan to see if he skates off and onto the bench and at what time he might do so. Now the Rams only have so much time to develop an attacking plan. If you're if you're on this Rams side right now, what is the game plan? At least, what is the first step is to getting that extra attacker on the ice and getting Morgan on the bench? The first step is definitely possession. Having possession when you have those six players on the ice and an empty net, you don't want the other team to Get, the, get possession of the puck and be able to shoot it down into the other end of, this, of your goal. And with the Rams, that has certainly been a challenge is maintaining that possession for a long period of time as the Sun Devils do not make it easy to even get out of their own defensive end. So we're going to see how they hold up in this last stretch of the period as this faceoff is going to come from center ice which might make it a little more difficult for the Rams to set up that offensive play that they need. And you can feel the intensity building the crowd on the edge of their seats. Morgan starting way above his crease. I think you're going to look for Morgan to get that early rush towards the benches. Again, they do not have a whole lot of time. Now the player's ready. We see Kyle Riley in the face-off circle for the Rams. And he is able to get that knock towards the side, and that one gets dumped in. Morgan heading towards the bench. Rams looking to get that extra attacker on the ice. They do, but for a face-off. Morgan looking like a speed skater going over to that <laughs> bench, trying to get that sixth attacker on as fast as possible. 
like this faceoff going to come just outside the blue line. They're going to leave Morgan on the bench and keep the extra attacker out on the ice. Rams win the faceoff. Gets the pass towards the blue line. North now on the left side. And so the offensive attack begins for the Rams as they try to see if they can put the puck in the back of the net and stay alive in this game. 1.15 left to go in the period. Sun Devils try to knock it out. Rams keep it in. Knock it towards the back behind the net. Rams is trying to keep it in. Sun Devils trying to stay on the defensive side strong. This one coming off to the side. Shot coming. That one goes wide. Riley racing to the puck on the right side. One minute left to go in the period. Tried to knock it towards the center. This might be a chance for the Sun Devils. It's a race for the puck. Riley able to get to it first. 50 seconds left. Riley has it on his stick, taking a little bit of time. He's going to pass it towards Anse. He has a little bit of contest going the other way now. And now the chance for the Sun Devils. A blocked shot coming. Well done from Riley to put his body in front of that one. 35 seconds left to go in the period. Moore is going to pass that one around. Sun Devils knock it out of their own zone. Rams needing to set something up here as the final 30 seconds begin. Corey Taylor has it on his stick, carrying it from center ice. Hands it off to Cote on the left side. 20 seconds left. Trying to knock it around the back, and the net gets knocked off. As that was Kowalchuk trying to get around the net, and he knocks it off balance. Fifteen point six seconds left to go on the clock. The Rams need to figure out something, and they need to do it quick. Millar in the faceoff circle against Holson. And Holst and uh, excuse me, Holston gets tossed out. Rams trying to work something off the faceoff now. Possible chance. Joseph with the backhander pass towards the center. Ram scrambling for the puck, bouncing, puck in front of the net, and the net gets knocked off. No goal scored. As about half of that time ticked off the clock, now 6.6 .6 seconds left to go as the officials try to unscramble the players here out of the crease. So another face off to come in the Sun Devil zone. And I think it's almost imperative that the Rams win the face off and get the quick shot. We see Bronson Moore, the big star for the Sun Devil side. Getting ready to face this last second. Rams not able to win the faceoff. Sun Devils going to knock it around. Two seconds left now. And this one gets knocked out of the zone. And that is going to do it. That is the game. As the third period comes to a close, the Sun Devils, after having two back-to-back -back goals scored on them, come back with another and third power play goal to regain the lead. And they are able to hold on to it. As the Rams are handed another loss here at home, it was a hard-fought game from both sides. Definitely a fun one to watch. That is going to be it for tonight. But don't worry, because for the next two nights, tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday, the Rams are going to be playing two more games this weekend. So we hope you tune in for those these next few nights. We thank you for watching Colorado Sports TV. I'm Litos Castro here with Tristan Anderson. We wish you a good night, ladies and gentlemen.